I'm not sure what it is about trucks in this game, but I just, I want to drive them, baby. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today, we got this Ram Power Wagon 2500. About to go haul me some hogs, baby. Let's let's go see what we can do. We're going to be trying to make some sort of a uh, an off-road build out of this thing. It should be fun. Dude, this thing is just, just big and slow. Just... Just slowly moving our way through Mexico here. Nothing to see. Just, you know, gonna go pick up my lawn equipment trailer and go mow some yards or something in this here thing. Gonna be bouncing off the rev limiter at 100 miles an hour. Yeah, this is, uh... This thing could use some work. Back this thing on up into a, uh... A drag stall here. Alright, y'all ready for it? You ready for a crazy pull? Getting some hawks from the other truck bros out there, baby. F450, nice one there, cuz. Go ahead and take off and do this. This thing is abysmally slow. <laughs> Even the gear shifting. Watch from second to third. She she needs some work. All right, we're gonna take her back into the festival. Let's super up. Let's turn her out. Let's get it done. Gonna make this thing into something that'll actually be pretty fun so i figured it was about time we do some sort of an off-road build obviously you know it's it's been a while let me see what kind of conversions we can make here we've got an engine swap so let's let's listen to some of these i mean the stock one sounds pretty good Wow, a 7.4 liter V8 twin turbo is going to bring us up to close to 2,000 horsepower. I'm going to go for it. Should we go with a uh, rear-wheel drive? No, we're going we're gonna to keep the all-wheel drive, especially for an off-roader there. Let's take a look at, at rims and tires here. We are going to be doing some off-road, so I'm thinking, do we want off-road or do we want rally? Looks like rally is going to give us a lot more bang for our bucks, so we're going to throw those bad boys on there. I would imagine, we, yeah, we want the, the wider tires both front and rear we can go even a little bit wider in the rear be able to give us a little bit more grip so we're gonna go with that rims definitely need some some new rims here let me see what we've got going on i feel like there aren't that many off-road rims in this game so we just gotta kind of we gotta kind of take what we can get these weld racing uh, alu masters are gonna be dropping uh 46 pounds for us that's not bad and I, I think there is a way that you can can you know paint like the bead locks and stuff on them you guys told me about it in my Jeep episode, so I remember seeing those comments. Definitely want to uh, want to take a look at that. Front rim size, so we... <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. That is just so, so stupid. Just doesn't, doesn't make any sense. I definitely think we need to go a little bit bigger. I mean, look at it this here. That's just way too small. I'm thinking either that or maybe that. Maybe... Eh, I'm, I'm gonna go with a 31560 R20s. So let's do that front and back. So after the physical upgrades, we're gonna end at an S1 at 852, which is honestly still pretty, pretty impressive. Um, I'm gonna say, let's take a look at the designs and paint. See what we've got going on for designs. We've got Classy, we've got Ram, we've got Police, Flames, Anime. We've got a Pokemon down here. Ooh, this is kind of sick. The retro stripe. Let me let me see how this thing. I actually don't mind that at all. I was kind of thinking of keeping it pretty clean. I will say it's it's a pretty basic vehicle. Like there's not really a lot you can do with it. There aren't any crazy front ends we can do or or anything that you know we can really do to to make it stand out. This is nice. Also a little a little bit boring. I I, I mean I I don't hate it. But I don't love it either. See, we've got, I mean, uh, you know, sticking with the, the base Ram colors here, I do kind of like having the power wagon on the side. Ooh, that's a pretty, a pretty magenta right there. Again, it's, it's a little bit, a little bit boring. We also could venture out into some other colors, some other designs. And keep in mind, we can change the, the wheels as well, I believe. See, something like this isn't bad. The green... We could go with more of a pearlescent. I don't know, dude. This is tough. We could, you know, throw some camo on there. Just get out to the sticks. So we can go into advanced on the rims here. Ah, I didn't, I didn't know you. Oh, dude, this, this changes the game. I didn't know you could, could change every piece. We've got paint group one, two, the inner barrel. I really like that the, uh, the weld racing section of the wheel there kind of matches 
the the red of the you know heavy duty 5.4 liter on the badging. I mean, it's a it's a good looking truck. I like it. You know, we we've got kind of like a this this is a steel, like a brushed steel material. It's not just like a gray you know gloss paint. It's a steel, so it's almost kind of like a cyber truck. It's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but I'm really excited to be able to drive it. Like I said, I just I, I like I like the trucks in this game. Let me just step right up into my truck. Look at this thing, baby. We got some. You know, three cup holders be able to hold all your drinks. We got two more in the door. How many is there? There's another one down on the the you know by the shifter. So we've got we've got two in the the driver's side door, two in the passenger side door, three in the center console, and then one down there. We've got eight cup holders and just the front seat of the truck where two people can sit. We've got four cup holders per person in the front seat of this truck. If you're thirsty. I got you. Oh, she sounds angry, baby. Let me pull up that drag strip one more again. I've got a feeling this is going to be pretty gnarly. 1,750 horsepower. Let me let me pull up real quick. Let me pull up to this thing. Let's see. Let's see what we've got going on. Off we go. Oh my goodness, nice little burnout there. Woo! She's she's a heck of a lot different now, baby. Those extra pounds look good on you, girl. I guess technically we took some pounds off with our weight saving. We've got this roll cage and stuff in here weighing us down a little bit more. Oh, just getting destroyed. Okay, well, can can you go off into the, the dirt like this, though? Nope, didn't didn't think so. He actually, that was that was a Hoonigan vehicle. He actually probably could. Look, as, we're just bounding through the air here. Dude, this thing, okay. This is actually pretty sick. Look at that tailgate locker on the back there. Dude, those are so nice. I wish I had that in my truck. I feel like I'd use that all the time. You guys ever wonder where those dope intros come from? Stuff like this. So I'll go out, I'll get like a cool shot. Like, first of all, I think I'll probably use this as the thumbnail. How insane is this? But uh, then I just kind of do like random little pans and stuff around the car. Look at this thing, dude. Just flexing up in the air. I love it. The pullouts always look so good. So let's pull out from the back here. Ah, oh, we've got the cruise ship in the background and everything. I'm not sure what's going on in the bottom right there. We got some weird texturing happening, but it's okay. We'll use it anyway. Maybe get like a little, a little side pan around the Ram 2500. Also got to pay attention where your light's coming from. The light here is, is kind of unfortunate because it's straight onto the truck. I feel like that's not going to look quite as good as if the side was completely done up. We could do like a, uh, we do like a, a front to the side. We've got the ram on the headlight as well as on the the grill here. Ooh, that thing is sick. Yes, dude, this this game is so. Look, look at the background there. Look at the beach revealing itself from the side of the truck. This game is just insane. This one's obviously super unique because we're up in the air, so we can get like an underneath the, the undercarriage shot here. Ooh, I like this cacti a lot. Gotta get some establishing shots here. Kind of show it from far away. Dude, look at that thing just floating. Maybe another one over here to be able to show the mountains. We've got the hot air balloons in the background. You guys know we, we you know, go on trips and make vlogs and all kinds of stuff like that. Honestly, this part of the series is one of my favorite parts. Just trying to set up cool shots, trying to get creative with it. Ooh, we've got the, the dirt in the background there. Beautiful. And then everyone always ends with the top down, which this one's not going to work as well. Shoot, because it's it's up in the air. The game doesn't let you get the, the camera as high as I want it to be. Ooh, that's kind of ugly and off center. I guess that's the antenna for the truck. But yeah, it doesn't. it's not going to let me get high enough. So I think, I think we're going to have to back out. We'll get the top down shot in a second. You guys don't actually care. Let's get into our first race. We got a Hemi in there, baby. Let's go. Ain't no way we can lose. Gonna make these guys look like a bunch of foos. All right, we've got a, uh, a circuit off-road race here. This looks really interesting going up the side of the mountain. We're gonna have to check out some, some more off-road race. Oh my goodness, look at the, the jump through the resorts. You better line this thing up by the Squish Goldie. And that willy g oh my okay okay yeah that that didn't go to plan you can't throw somebody into that is this what we're missing in these baja races we're gonna have to check this out man there's so many really cool uh off-roading vehicles i want to check out there's some really interesting rally spec porsches honestly what in the world is going on hey we'll take it p2 just gonna have to we're gonna mess up the landing again 
And oh, clean! As a whistle, baby. I can't slow this thing down. This is the pain train. She don't stop. Um, the the Bronco, I guess, is supposed to be one of the best off-road vehicles in the game. They, you know, obviously, kind of give it to you off the start, so it's a little bit less exciting. But I'd love to do a Bronco episode. We've got to get the the normal F-150 Raptor. I want to get like a G wagon. I was looking through a few different options for this episode. Ended up choosing the Ram just because we hadn't done a, a pickup in a while. Got a slide. Be able to hit that. Shoot. Okay. Whew. When in doubt, just run everything over. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch this guy up here in first, but I'm going to try my best. Honestly, this is a very, a very tough one with all the jumps. This is also going to be a long race. Got to go left here. This is a, I mean, we've just got a lot of jumps. We've got a lot of varying oh, ramps and, and mountainsides and elevations and all kinds of stuff. But we're, we're starting to catch up here. Hit a little e-brake. The problem is we're just sliding too far through corners. If we don't, I think if we slow it down a little bit, we'll be in better shape. We got to make it all the way to that. The downhill ramp park there and we're good. See, we, we got that corner a little bit better. We might be able to catch Tucker. Come on, baby. Jericho up there in front. I'm sure some of you guys know he was back when I was first really getting into YouTube. Moved to LA. He was one of my, my first roommates, him and Gold Glove. We got it. I didn't think we were gonna get that right there. Oh, don't go, don't go left, sweetheart. Come on. There it is. Oh, come on, dig, baby. Dude, this thing, it, 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 she's fast. She's really good in a straight line, but she's not good at turning. That's that's the issue. She just doesn't, doesn't really wanna cooperate. She also, I feel like, I don't know if we, if it's the, Suspension we have here, the size of our tires or what, but she really, she doesn't handle the jumps well. The jumps and landings. Shoot, man. I mean, we, we balled out. We destroyed the competition. Just couldn't, couldn't quite catch first place here. We were close. I, I think if we had a redo, we probably would. Also, dude, just getting screwed on that segment. Come on. RPMs are just flying all over the place. Look at those storm clouds coming in mixed with the, the pink from the sunset. This game is beautiful in every every piece of lighting. P2, baby, we'll take it. Honestly, can't be mad at it. Pretty good first race. I mean, that, that's got to be one of the more challenging, challenging races. You need something that can really handle the up and down, you know, everything we've got going on there. So it's, it's okay. We'll, we'll take a P2 to start. Let's, let's get a little cross-country action. I like a little point-to-point, -point, kind of cut some corners. I feel like that's where this thing's going to be good because, again, it's really good in a straight line. It's not so good in the corners and jumps. Here we go, baby. Daytime race. We ain't got nothing to do but go from point A to point B. Let's see. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. Look at that drift. Dude, this thing has so much power on the road. <laughs> She's got more power than she knows what to do with. You could say she's got a uh, whole wagon of it. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not sorry about it. Ugh, right into the wall there. We're good. All right, gonna be taking a right. Slide around here. This is night. We haven't done too many races over on this side of the uh, of the map. I know I like driving free roam a lot through here, especially with fast cars, because it's got some nice roads, but haven't done too many races through this, the salt dunes or whatever these are. I think they're obviously sand dunes, but it's like the, the lighter, almost saltier looking sands. Oh, jumped him. Totally could have cut, cut that corner a little bit harder too. Nice little booty tap. Let's go. Keep the skill point chain rolling. See this? This is where she thrives. Another little tap. Something that's a little more manicured. You know, she, she's a bit of a pavement princess. Not not fully. But she does appreciate a nice, nice you know, 
manicured trail. Who doesn't? Sounds a little weird. 63%. Looking like we're in a pretty good spot. Let's hop inside the beast. Here we go. Alright, gotta stop itching your, your nose, Trev. Woo! Going downhill. Just slide right into it, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Try to fling that rear end around this way. Fling it back. Oh my goodness, dude. Feels so good. I just really... I, I, the trucks are so boaty in this game. It, it, they're just fun. Especially off-road to really just kind of throw the rear end out. I mean, like in our, our gauntlet race with the RS200, it was fun too. But there's something about the trucks. Something about a truck. Where should we go next? What do you guys think? We've got to eventually start checking off some of some of these events. I don't know how I want to do this. I might have to just grind those um, off camera. Ooh, this one looks good. The Bahio Trail. Looks like we might have some farm fields. It looks pretty long. We'll see what this thing's all about. But, um, yeah, let me know if you guys want. I mean, I guess technically we could we could do some, like, speed zone jump episodes and stuff. Make, like, a cool build and then just do those instead of doing races. It might be a little fun to mix things up. I think our next episode, I'm, I'm planning on uh, finishing up the, the campaign, the story mode. I've got, uh, I believe, the, the street racing scene and then something else. There's two things. So we're going to finish those up in the next episode and get back into building after that. Always appreciate your guys' requests down in the comments. So if there are any cars or trucks or anything you guys really want to see, let me know. Going to try to... I'm thinking we'll probably... Ooh, we've got, we've got some, some slippy-dippy stuff here. I'm thinking we're probably going to end up doing... Out of my way, Mr. Jeep. Sorry, got to push you, push you off the road if I have to. It's so easy. This thing is, is hardly breaking a sweat throwing them off. Ooh, that was a nice corner right there, Trev. Perfectly executed. Ooh, wet dirt. Okay, this... This is probably going to be a, a bit more challenging. But yeah, we're probably going to do like a, a two-to-one. I'm thinking just because there are way more asphalt, you know, road, street cars we're going to want to get through. Probably every two episodes, then we'll do a dirt episode or, you know, sometimes we'll do something a little bit crazier. We are racing super clean. I don't know why my nose is itching so bad. Oh my goodness, I thought we were going to lose it, but we got it. Uh, that would have that would have lost it right there. All right, we're 34% of the way through this. We got time today. Just gonna slide on through. Oh my goodness, dude! Look how clean this is. I love it. All right, let's hop inside. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. It's inside the power wagon time. Beautiful. Lightning McQueen and what is it? Is it Doc? Who, who's the one that taught him to, to turn turn right to go left? And vice versa. Ooh. You had me until you hit that one, Trev. That was that was just a, a bit ugly. Dude, we are we are flying. Look at that right there. Hit a little e-brake action. Ooh, a little drift tap. A little harder than I would have liked it to be. A little more sideways than I would have liked it to be. There's one thing y'all need to know about me. I don't lift, baby. I've been lifting a little bit through here. Oh my goodness, dude. So close. He's still pretty close on us. Alright, we, we can't... We can't get too crazy with it here. Come around through here. Get a nice little drift. Woo! And there she goes. Kept our speed up, though. Ended up... Crossing these guys over pretty well. A second. Keep it together, Trev. I just love it with the extended bed here that we can we can just hit it with our tail light as we've got our front end right through the apex of every corner these i'm telling you the trucks might be my favorite thing to, to race especially off-road slippery like this <laughs> i thought we just blew it right there let's be a little bit more careful he says as he keeps throwing his tail out there let's go little drip little drip little drip <laughs> dude so much fun not the most effective racing but so much fun so there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed that my friends is the power wagon hope you guys enjoyed the episode again 
your comments down below let me know what to play that's not like an engagement thing i'm not trying to get you guys to comment to boost my numbers i don't even think that actually does anything anymore uh it's more click through rates and and you know if you guys see it and you click on it then that's what helps me so hopefully you're doing that too but uh the comments just tough because like there's so many cars in this game we've got 400 500 cars it's kind of hard for me to choose so sometimes it's nice when i'm thinking of something and then i see it in the comments i'm like yeah that's a good idea so anyway tangent over episode over i'll see you guys later peace out